and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's part four of my playthrough of Zero Leader, published by DVG and designed by Chuck Seagert. At the moment, we are on eight victory points, and we have an outstanding amount of SO points. So let's go over to the target cards and see what's in store for us today. So as per normal, we're going to shuffle both decks quickly. There we go. We can draw two target cards. Ammo dump. And harbor installations. Ooh. Let's have a closer look at those. Again, no secondary keyword. There are some in the deck. They must all be at the bottom. So, ammo dump. Five aircraft. Four hits, three VPs, and the intel will move one to the right. And this SS means that any samurai spirit used will be refreshed if the mission is successful. It's soft. We've got an overkill of five or more. That'll give us an extra VP, but it's a minus one turn. Two sights in the target and two in each approach. And for the bandits, two in target, one in each approach. This one, though, harbour installation, has a penalty if we don't destroy this. Next target gains plus two centre bandit draw. There is an overkill on here if we get seven or more hits. And it's reduce the next target's printed approach bandit number by one. So five aircraft again five hits four vps the intel will also move one to the right and once again the double s there saying that any samurai spirits used will be refreshed well as we can only do one i think we better do this because of the penalty so we'll move that up to the center and we'll pop this back on the deck so next is Determine and place sites. So one in the target area and two in each approach. Here's our tub. We have this time we have some riflemen. And oh the 90 mil we had in the last mission. Riflemen. Light machine gun. No sight, that's always good to see and some more riflemen. Forty millimeter gun, three, seven, nine. And lots of riflemen. And in the middle, oh, a 40 millimeter. This has got high and low capabilities but luckily none apart from that one with a range of one. So again, we may well come in low so we can avoid that. So that's the sights. So it looks like we're gonna be coming in from the south once again. Next, assign pilots. Let's choose our five. Here's our squadron. As I said last time, I think we're going to give these three a rest. 
And as mentioned in the last video, we've sorted out Tagahashi's Samurai Spirit as well. We'll probably have two escorts and three bombers, so let's sort those out. Here are our five pilots. So a couple of zeros for escorts and three bombers, because we want to try and get the overkill on that target card, which will reduce the next target's printed approach bandit number by one. So Sano here has the Bushido skill, which is unfortunate because it says after expending a Samurai Spirit, roll a d10 on an 8+, plus, retain your Samurai Spirit use. But as we drew these randomly, he hasn't got a Samurai Spirit at the moment, but he does have the situational awareness, which means he can become a fast pilot for one of the combat rounds, as well as a slow pilot. So he gets uh, two shots in, as it were. The other zero is Yamazaki, who has the relief skill. And that's the one where if you destroy three or more sites or bandits during a mission, all other pilots flying this mission suffer one less stress. Next, we've got Mayamoto with a plethora of samurai spirits. We'll probably use one or two of those. And Nomura here with the Vengeful skill, which is expended when another pilot is shot down, and that adds plus three to his attack rolls for the rest of the mission. A couple of samurai spirits there. And Ishikawa, samurai spirit, but no skills. Most of them have good stats. The two zeros plus two for their air-to-air, -air, and the bombers plus three, plus three, and plus one. We've got two bigger bombers and a dive bomber here. Ishikawa has a plus two, so he's gonna to have to come in high. Next is arm aircraft. And I think the two bigger bombers will have their thousand pounders. So one for Miyamoto, one for Nomura while Ishikawa will have two 500 pound bombs. As you probably know by now, these thousand pounders can do three hits if we throw 10 or more. So we'll probably be using the old Samurai Spirit for those. And these 500 pounders can score two hits. So one of those will use this Samurai Spirit because if you remember, we're going to get those Samurai Spirits back at the end if we're successful. Okay, we're on to the target bound flight phase. Now during this phase, we will be drawing bandits. So we may be using this. We pay one SO point and reduce the bandits air to air modifier by two. Now I'm not sure if we have to use this before we uh, draw the bandits or after we've seen what we've got. Seems a little unfair to do it that way, but I dare say somebody will put me right. I will use it before we draw, if I'm going to use it, to make it a little bit more fairer. So, draw target bound event card. Oh, <laughs> reduce attack rolls for aircraft, sights and bandits by one. So we may not have to use that card I just showed you. We'll pop that there to remind us. Place aircraft and choose altitude. Now two escorts will come in low because once we've picked their altitude, they can't change it. But that does mean, I think, we can have a pop at any sites and indeed the target if we're not successful with our bombers. And Yama Zaki will come in low as well. Our two Kates, our heavier bombers, have the level keyword, which means they can fly in high to drop their bombs. But it does give them a minus two on their air to ground stats. So I think we'll come in low anyway. So Mayamoto and Nomura coming in low. But Ishikawa has to come in high because he's a dive bomber if we want to get his plus two dive modifier. So he comes in high. Determine and place bandits. Now, do we use this? One at the bottom here. 
reduce the target bound bandits we're about to pull reduce their air to air modifier by two we've already got this which will reduce it by one i think we'll keep it if we hadn't have drawn the fog card here i think we would have used that one right i'll sort out all the f for f's from here and we'll draw our bandits so here we are all the f four f's and while i was doing that the sun has decided to come out hence this strange pattern across the tactical display so sorry about that right we need two in each approach and one in the target them down there Oops, right, in the target area, we've got a minus two newbie. I think they're all six, eight, nine stats. No bandit and an average pilot. Oh, couple of no bandits there. No bandit, this is good for our escorts, of course. Oh, another average. A newbie, minus two. And a no bandit, so let's get rid of those. There we go. So we've got a few to deal with, but everything that attacks will have a minus one on it. Intel air defense adjustment. Here's our target, by the way, and our Intel tells us we can remove one sight and one bandit. I think we'll remove this average pilot. Now, which site? I think we better get rid of this one in the target area. Once again, you will play this completely different. So, remove that one. Draw over target event card. Now, up till now, they've all been pretty good. Oh, hello. Letters from home. Pay one SO point to give four pilots one extra Samurai Spirit counter. I tell you what, I've run out, and I think this introductory campaign is uh, okay as it is. So I think we'll forego that. Place turn counter in the one box. There it is. You can't see it at the moment. Let's move the camera up a touch. There we are. So dive bombers, dive to low, no kamikaze. There's nothing to attack, so all we're going to do is move. In we go. And the bandits will move. They're both newbies, so it doesn't really matter who comes in to attack whom. And this one will move into the middle. Move the turn counter. Ishikawa isn't diving, of course. We do have Sano as a fast pilot if we use up his situational awareness, but I tell you what, he's going to save that for this average pilot, I think. So we don't have any fast pilots. So sights and bandits attack this unit here. These riflemen can attack one of these four, Ishikawa high. So let's see who the riflemen are attacking. So one, two, three, four. One, that is. Sano. Picking this up and forgetting what the numbers are. So anything below a six is a miss. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten will be a stress. Uh, well, actually, a ten will be uh, a minor damage. Eleven will be a damage with a plus two stress. So the chances are we're going to get a stress. So there's no real point of Sarno going evasive because he'll get a stress anyway. So we'll take a chance. 
and see what these riflemen throw. Three, that's a miss. Next will be the two bandits. So we'll do this one first. So this bandit's maneuver will be a D10 minus two. Three minus two is a one. So they're doing a tight turn. Their success is going to be the air to airs and taking away our maneuverability. The bandits air to air is minus two. Sarno's got a plus two, so that's another minus two and our maneuverability is one, so that's a minus one. So I think that's minus five. Oh, we did get a nine though, minus five, four. That's no effect. And now we are going to see if they hit. It's the two air to airs. Our friendly robustness. No positional advantage there. So their air to air is minus two. Our air to air is a plus two, so that's a minus four. Our robustness though is a minus one, so they are going to get a plus one for that. So overall, that's a minus three. Their stats are six, eight, nine. Four has zero, that's a miss. Thank goodness for that. This one with Yamazaki. Their maneuver is going to be the die roll minus two again. Five minus two is three. That's another tight turn. So the maneuver success is the two air to air and our maneuverability, which is one. So that's minus five. That's no effect. And the bandit's success is going to be the two air to air modifiers. That's a minus four so far. And robustness once again. It's a minus one for Yamazaki, so that's a plus one. Minus three, six, eight, nine. Nine minus three is six. That's a stress anyway. Phew. There we go. It is our pilot's turn. So once again, I think we'll use the old in my sights. So it's the two air to air modifiers and our maneuverability. So that'll be plus two for us, a minus, minus two for the enemy, which makes it plus four. Another one for our maneuverability, plus five. Oh, crikey, one. We could have used aggression there, but no, too late. One plus five is six. We still get a plus one attack, though. And the resolution we need an eight or more with our guns. So it's the two air to air modifiers. Once again, that's a plus four, plus one more for the attack. Plus five, eight or more. Look at that seven, off you go. Sano gets a victory, which I'll add to the player log. That's his first victory. Now it's Yamazaki, again, in my sights. Yamazaki has a maneuverability of one. So once again, it's going to be a plus four, plus five. Five plus five is 10. That's a plus two attack. And so we're doing the air to air modifiers that's going to be a plus four, plus the two attack. So that's a plus six. Eight or more for him as well. Look at that. 
he's gone. And another victory for Yamazaki. Now we move. So, both the zeros are at low altitude, so they can strafe targets and sites. And our bombers are moving in. And this uh, will go to, yes, Sarno, where is he? Over there. Because he's got the situational awareness. This can't attack because Ishikawa is now going to dive to low. So this site can't attack anymore. So they're all at low. Fast pilots attack. Sano is going to use his situational awareness. So he's attacking first. We're using in my sights. This, though, is an average pilot, so there are no modifiers for his air-to-air. -air. But we get a plus two, and our maneuverability is one, so altogether plus three. Three plus three is six. That's uh, plus one attack. So a plus two for our air-to-air, -air, plus one for our bonus attack, and that's it, just a plus three. We need eight or more. Five and three is eight. There we go, another victory for Sano. The enemy can't attack us, there's nothing left. This one's attacking only aircraft at a high altitude, so no. But our slow pilots can now attack. So Mayamoto is going to attack and drop his thousand pounder. He's also going to use a Samurai Spirit, so that automatically gets him a 10 before modifiers, I believe. Yes, it says instead of rolling for an attack, treat the attack roll as being a 10 before applying modifiers. He's got a plus three, has our Miyamoto there. So he's going to score three hits with his thousand pounder. Next is Nomura. He's going to use a Samurai Spirit as well. So that's another three hits. He also has an air to ground of plus three. We're up to six, we've done it. We're nearly there with the overkill. And last but not least, Ishikawa is using his two 500 pound bombs. He's only got one Samurai Spirit, which he's going to use. So for this will be a 10, plus his air to ground of one, 11. So that's another two hits. So we'll see what he gets with his other bomb. It's all pretty academic, but let's see. Do you know what I forgot to do as well? Forgot about this, but it didn't matter. We were firing like Billy O there. So we get rid of that. I'm sure I'm not the only one who forgets to use event cards. So a plus one for Ishikawa. We need to get a seven or more. Five, six, that's actually a miss. Should have changed that. So altogether we've got eight. We have completed the mission. We moved the turn counter just for completeness. And we are now on the homebound flight. So we draw our homebound event card. It's another one, <laughs> save this card. Discard the next time a pilot suffers a damage result. Oh, we've already got one of those. Tell you what, let's not be greedy. We'll discard that. I don't think we're gonna need it. As I keep saying, this is an introductory campaign to get me back into it and to show everyone who's not played it 
or just wants to watch old Ruff do his thing, how it all works. So all these can come home. The sights can go back in the pot. And we are on debriefing. Recall mission outcome, victory points, just recon and intel counters and special option points. Well, we didn't get any special option points. The mission was a success and the victory points for this mission is four. So here we go. Still got 16 SO points, was a success, four. Uh, victory points, we're up to 12. We are now adequate. So that's our mission complete. And the recon doesn't move. The intel moves up one. So now we can get rid of one site and two bandits. Because this was a mission with the double S there, we can turn back the samurai spirits that we used. And next it's place maintenance needed on our aircraft. So let's get those here so we can see them. Sano's got his situational awareness back. Yamazaki. Miyamoto Nomura. And Ishikawa. All get a maintenance needed. There we go. Add target card stress to pilots. So every pilot gets a stress. So Yamazaki just turned that over. So no. Yamoto, there we go. Record pilot experience. All those pilots get two experience points, so I'll do that on the log sheet there. There we go. The only one who's anywhere near is uh, Yamazaki. Just needs one more to rank up to skilled. Promote pilots? No, unfortunately not. So now just to finish off, we allocate the maintenance crews. And Ishikawa gets its own maintenance crew. There we go. So we'll get rid of the maintenance needed that's been dealt with. And the crew work overnight to do that. And we can pop those back ready for the next mission. Yep, I missed it out. The pilot stress recovery for all pilots. So we're removing stress equal to their coolness. Looks like they've all got it. So they can all come off. Yamazaki's down to one. And this includes our resting pilots. Oyama's got a coolness of two, so straight away that can come off. And the other pilots can remove two stress because they have rested, plus any coolness they have. Well, they haven't got any, but they can remove two, so they're back to normal. And what we'll do is now is we'll move them back, ready to fly. Have a bit of a shift around because the others are coming in. So here comes Sano. He's okie dokie. We'll put Yamazaki here, even though he's only got one stress. We'll see what we need. We've got 
Ishikawa. Miyamoto and Nomura, all okie dokie. There we are. And that's the end of day four. Okay, we'll leave it there. Another mission that's successful and as such has completed part four of my playthrough of Zero Leader. The World War II Pacific Theatre Solitaire game, published by DVG and designed by Chuck Seagert. Well, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. If you are and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Another thing that helps tremendously is pushing the like button of the video, the thumbs up. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. Leave a comment. I'm getting a fair few comments on this series. It's very popular. Hints and tips and the like. So keep them coming. I love to read them. Thanks, as always, to my subscribers. Thank you very much. And just before I go, if you wish to support the channel a little bit further, you can. You can buy the channel a coffee. And I'll leave a link in the description for that. Or you can push the super thanks button. Either of those, if you decide to do that, will be gratefully received and does help to keep the channel ticking along. So thank you. So just a couple more days to go in this campaign of Wake Island 1941. So until the next video, as always, you take care and goodbye.